Yo, what's up guys, it's Tat, and uh, I really, really needed to make this video because I have been continuously asked on stream, in my comments section, on Twitter, what changes would I make to Legion? Uh, it feels like I'm making this video like every month. To be honest, I probably am to an extent. I say it all the time in my videos. I would do this, uh, maybe change that. And there's lots of great discussions that are had on stream with lots of different people. And uh, I wanted to actually just make a dedicated video. Uh, I recently made a tweet uh, just saying very casually like my wish list of changes for Legion. And I actually want to go over these changes here with you because I feel that they, they are integral to making Legion um, feel way better to play. Not necessarily making Legion stronger, but just more natural, um, which I think is something that Behavior didn't quite hit the mark on with the original Legion rework back in the 5.7 patch. Now, there are also a couple of add-on changes, four to be exact. There's four base kit adjustments and four add-on adjustments. Uh, this isn't going to be super crazy or anything. You're not going to see Legion flying around the map with guns in their hand or anything like that. These are very small tweaks. They could be done within a week. And uh, I don't think I'm really asking for too, too much, at least with the base kit changes. I think the base kit changes are the core changes that I want to see be made. Uh, the add-ons, I don't really care if they're made or not. Well, I care to an extent, obviously, I'm making this video. But I, I know that beggars can't always be choosers, and so I'm accepting that here. And uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, well, so be it, whatever. I want to at least get my thoughts out there, my rationale on things, and, and kind of explain where I'm coming from. So for the base kit changes, right off the bat, I think it's pretty fair. It's been asked by a lot of different people, not just me, but people in my community. I see people in the forums, uh, DVD forums, Twitter, in my YouTube comments. Everywhere, everyone's asking, why doesn't Legion have a, a, a score event for downing survivors in Feral Frenzy? And that's a great question. I don't have the answer to that. So I thought, why not let Legion have some blood points as a bonus on top for downing survivors in Feral Frenzy? So, you know, you get four hits, you get that fifth hit, put the survivor down, you get 250 blood points, let's say, um, for just putting the survivor into the dying state with a Feral Slash. You can call the, the score event whatever you want. It could be downed by frenzy, it could be lethal frenzy, it could be dying state frenzy, whatever. There's a billion names that you could come up with. I think that would be nice. It would be a simple change, just some, some score event that just recognizes the effort and the, 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 the stars aligning to let you down a survivor. It's extremely hard to down a survivor in Feral Frenzy um, because most people are smart now, and they split up. The moment they hear the terrorists, they run to the opposite side of the map, and you just don't catch them. Unless you're bringing pills and sketch every single game, you're not getting it down unless you're extremely lucky or it's a small map. So being properly rewarded with a proper individual score event for that down, I think, is well, well needed. Another change is to make it so that whenever you pick up a survivor or you grab them out of a locker in Feral Frenzy, power gauge no longer depletes it's really really weird how they uh they made it so that if you basic attack you don't lose your power they understood that that was that was stupid but they kept the part where if you're in feral frenzy and you pick up a survivor or you grab them out of a locker you pull them out put them on your shoulder your power gauge drops to zero it goes away i don't i don't like that i think it should just stop from where you left off and begin recharging it wouldn't be a, a major buff it would be like a quality of life tweak that's not going to make legion better it's not going to make legion worse it's just going to make legion feel better to play and i don't see why their power gauge needs to deplete when you pick up a survivor or you grab them out of a locker it just doesn't make sense to me and uh you see me do it all the time i'll be in frenzy vault the window pick up a survivor i downed who was on the other side not losing my power every time i do that would feel pretty great just saying uh, now to go along with that, uh, this had a lot of people confused as to why I would tweak this. And if I'm being honest, it's because my monkey brain just does not see why this should work this way. But I'm making it so that when you down a survivor in Feral Frenzy, no matter what, you will always lose Feral Frenzy. You will go completely back to zero. The whole power gauge gets depleted. And some people were wondering, you know, 
why change that? That seems so weird. That's that is technically a nerf, but it wouldn't really nerf Legion. Why? Why would you even bother changing that? Well, the reason why is because my monkey brain, like I said, is going crazy up the wall. Because why does Legion lose their power when they miss? When they hit a survivor who already has deep wound? When they hit a wall? But not when they down someone, whether or not they had deep wound. That doesn't make sense to me. So to just make things simple, streamlined, and have as much parity as possible throughout the whole power and the various mechanics, make it not seem as held together with string and tape. I'm streamlining the mechanics so that whenever a survivor is down in frenzy, you lose your power. It goes back to zero. You don't need it right away anyway. So why does it get kept where it left off? It should deplete completely when you down a survivor, whether or not they have deep wound or not, doesn't matter. When you down a survivor in Feral Frenzy, the power gauge goes back to zero and it begins recharging there. The last little tweak that I would make to Legion, and I will die on this hill, no matter what you say, uh, oh, that would be OP, uh, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I don't care. Legion should be able to see pools of blood in Feral Frenzy. It is ridiculous that uh, a mid-tier killer, at best, most of the time is hovering around in low tier, cannot see blood pools. Like, it's like if you were playing Blight, and when you are rushing, all of a sudden blood pools are gone. Like, what? The person's right in front of me. I see them in it. No, 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 you see. You got high blood pools. Because we don't want you uh, to chain your hit again on that same survivor. You have to go look for someone else. My brother in Christ, I see the survivor anyway. You don't need to hide pools of blood. It's a, it's an unnecessary restriction. And it hurts Legion specifically on indoor maps and maps with lots of grass and foliage because if you can't see blood pools, you lose track of the survivor in Frenzy and you, you're forced to cancel. You're wondering where the hell they went. Maybe they ran off with Overcome. They had uh, Sprint Purse or Lithe or something and they're just gone. You don't know where they went. Now you might be saying, well, good, that's, that's counterplay. But... I say that's not counterplay because the survivors already hit. They didn't outplay you. You've, your power physically just prevents you from seeing blood pools in, in Frenzy. And that's just really, really stupid. I don't get it. Um, killers who are way stronger than Legion, who have way more oppressive abilities, who have way better mobility, <coughs> Wraith, <coughs> Billy, <coughs> Blight, I uh, have a really bad cough today. All those killers who have better mobility, who have more oppressive abilities in general and can do more things in their power, don't have these arbitrary restrictions. Get rid of it. You can see pools of blood in Feral Frenzy. Please, just make it happen. Now on to the add-on changes. and There's a few here that I think are very spicy, uh, but I'm gonna start off with the most basic as possible. And this is this is honestly, just it doesn't matter with the rest. Uh, just, if this were to happen, I. I'd be I'd be at peace. Stolen sketchbook. The chain hit item dropping add-on. It needs a buff. It needs a buff. It needs to work on every single feral frenzy hit, not just chain hits. It is absolutely ridiculous how uh, an add-on that doesn't even have that amazing of an effect uh, has such a huge restriction. Other killers have add-ons that do the same thing. They hit a survivor with their power. They drop their item. But Legion, no, 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 you see, that would be OP. You gotta hit first a survivor, then another survivor for the item to be dropped. And if you want the first survivor that you hit to drop their item, well, you're gonna have to hit them and then lose your power by hitting them again for them to drop their item. And the best part is nine times out of 10, they will pick up their item in your face while you're in your fatigue, and then proceed to run to a window or pallet, drop it, go through it, and, and you can't get them. And now they have their item. And you can't use your power on them again to make them drop their item because they're in deep wound. And you can't chain a hit on a survivor who is deep wound, now can you? So, that is some very, very cringe gameplay if I do say so myself. And so if it would just work, whenever you hit a survivor in Feral Frenzy, they drop their item. Great! Joey's mixtape! So this is an interesting add-on. So way, way back, let me take you on a journey. Before the 5.7 rework for legion uh my twitch chat and i we were we we're having great discussion about how a hemorrhage island for legion would be based as as the kids say including myself um based it would be based if we had a joey's mixtape or, or any other add-on that applied hemorrhage and uh th this is the one time that the developers of the game probably shouldn't have listened uh hemorrhage is a terrible add-on to have 
on, on Legion. It does absolutely nothing. Um, if a survivor is injured the whole game, they're not healing, so Hemorrhage doesn't do anything. And if they heal up, well, they just wasted time healing against a Legion. So, the only time it does anything is if you catch a survivor off guard while they're healing. Oh, yes! But wait, if they're outside of a loop, you can just down them. So, the healing progress going away doesn't matter. But if they're inside a loop, you're going to use Frenzy anyway and, and hit them and apply Deep Wound and fuck off. So, Hemorrhage doesn't do anything. So, to just as make things as simple as possible, let's buff D-Face Smiley Pin. Let's give the Hemorrhage effect from Joey's Mixtape and add it onto D-Face Smiley Pin. So now D-Face Smiley Pin, after you self-mend, will make it so that you get Mangled and Hemorrhage until you're healed. So now, if you want a, a Sloppy Butcher effect on Legion, you have to only run one add-on instead of two. Joey's mixtape now needs a new effect, so let's give it one. What I've suggested, and I think that this is pretty fun, and there could be some cool synergies with not only other Legion Islands like Stylish Sunglasses and Stabbing Study, but also some perks, Valence for instance. But let's make it so that Joey's mixtape grants you undetectable for 30 seconds after you down a survivor in Feral Frenzy. If you hit a survivor with their fifth hit, they go down, you get undetectable for 30 seconds, and that will allow you to kind of sneak around the map a bit, you know, after you hook the survivor, you can uh, use barbecue and chili. Oh, see, oh, these two people are over here healing. Let me sneak up on them. They don't know I'm coming. I'm undetectable. Okay, that could be useful. You can also use it with stylish sunglasses. You get a down, undetectable. You see Nancy mending in a corner. Uh, you can walk up to her. She doesn't know that you're coming. There's no indication that there's anything suspicious going on. Nothing sus. And uh, you go ahead and you down the survivor. So now that's two downs because of Joy's big state. It wouldn't be OP because Joy's mixtape and the effect really of downing the survivor in Feral Frenzy wouldn't happen too many times a match. Probably once, maybe twice, a bunch of times if you bring pills, but pills is stupid, so we're not going to talk about that. But if you bring normal Legion, you have Joy's mixtape, you have uh, duration add on, speed add on, style sunglasses, stab and study, filthy blade, you know, whatever, it would be nice. You get it to work maybe once per game. Those 30 seconds could be the reason why you get another down. So I do think that it, it would be fun and would change up the some gameplay. And I think an undetectable add for Legion would kind of slap. Frank's mixtape! Uh, I feel like this is like the add-on that I'm kind of known for, whether or not it's pre-patch Legion or the new Legion. It's Frank's mixtape. You, you always assume, okay, Tat's running Frank's mixtape. Here's my suggestion for Frank's mixtape, right? Give it a slight nerf. Now I know what you're thinking. Whoa, 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 Tat, you're nerfing Frank's mixtape. What the fuck is wrong with you? Listen. So instead of the wall break speed being 30%, let's simplify it so it increases damaging gens and uh, wall break speeds by 20%. So while you're in Feral Frenzy, you kick gens and walls 20% faster. The power gauge pauses while you pick a gen or a wall. The buff, oh yeah. The buff is that every time in Feral Frenzy that you kick a generator or break a wall, your entire power gauge is refilled. Oh shit, that is fucking spicy. Now you are probably thinking, oh my god, that on the duck saloon would be kind of OP. And you know, you might be right. That, it would be by far one of Legion's better add-ons. You probably use it with Filthy Blade. You could use that with a speed add-on. You could use that with literally anything you want to an extent. And it would just work, right? You need to kick a gen. That's a, re that's a requirement. You need to kick a wall. Also a requirement. But if you do either of those two things, you do it faster, and you refill your power, which helps you chain hits. Imagine the situation. You're in Feral Frenzy. You've chained a hit. You're running to uh, Megan. Megan's on a generator. She sprint bursts away like the bitch she is. And uh, instead of burning out your Frenzy, you kick the gen with Frank's mixtape. Now, your power gauge is completely refilled, and you proceed to chase after Meg now with a full 10 second, 12 second with a duration add-on, Feral Frenzy. Now, there is a slight fear and that is that this might be like extra OP with like never sleep pills but never sleep pills is cringe so that could probably just be changed at some point down the line but that's what I would change about Legion those are four base kit changes to Legion and four add-on changes to Legion hopefully I do not have to make this video ever ever again I probably will but I wanted to get this out there because I'm continuously asked over and over 
And I feel like I'm repeating myself every stream. I'm losing my mind, man. I'm losing my mind. But hopefully that just kind of gets everyone on the same page as, oh, Tat wants this change for Legion. Okay. I don't have to ask him on stream. Hey, Tat, what would you change this out on for? Uh, now you know. And uh, now there's a full explanation about it as, as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you liked the ideas. If not, feels bad, man. That's okay, too. But I will see you all next time. Have a great day.